Welcome to another episode of my Learning Lightroom series of videos. I was asked the other day a question about catalogues. Is it better to have one big catalogue or several smaller catalogues? Well, there really isn't a right answer. It depends on your particular workflow. If you're a wedding photographer, for example, you might see a benefit in having a catalogue per client. You may never need to search for images from more than one client. As it works out, you could have the best of both worlds. Keeping multiple catalogues and then merge them into a master catalogue containing all your images. But here's my suggestion on how to do it. On my desktop here, let me just minimise Lightroom. I've got a folder called Combining Catalogues. Uh, and in this folder, I've got two subfolders. One called Landscape, which has got some landscape images in and one called Portrait, which has got some portrait images in. OK. I've created two different Lightroom catalogues. One that just references my portrait images and one that just references my landscape images. OK, let's have a look at that in action. Bring Lightroom back. Here I'm in my landscape catalogue. You can see that up at the top here. And in here in my Combining Catalogues main folder or parent folder, I've just got my landscape images in this catalogue and there's 21 of them. And I've also got some collections that I've made. So I can basically look at different areas that I've visited and the images that I took while I was there. So they, we've got exactly the same for the portrait. So what can I do now? Well, I could make a new master catalogue. Well, let's do that then. So let's go to File, a new. We'll put it on the desktop so you can see it. And I'll call it Master Catalog. And I'll click Create. And it now opens up in this new Master Catalog. Oh, get rid of all this advertising. And I don't want to sync the catalog. Here we are. We've got now the new master catalog that has nothing in it. It's completely empty. And if we take a quick look on the desktop now, you'll see that I've got my portrait catalog, my landscape catalog, and now this empty master catalog. OK. So what can we do? Well, there's a very simple process for actually bringing images from one catalog into another. And it goes like this. We go up and say, file and import from another catalog. I now tell it which ones I want to bring in, what catalog. Well, that's the catalog that I want to bring in. So I'm going to click choose. It's then going to ask me, well, what do you want to do? Well, yes, I want to bring all the folders in. I want to combine them. I want to add the new photos to the catalog without moving them. Just leave the images where they are. And that's it. Click Import. It now is bringing in all the images and all the collections that I've made as well. OK, they're all in, safe and sound. Let's now look at my portrait images. So I can now go to File, Import from another catalogue. But this time I'll go and find my portrait images on the desktop, portrait catalog, and select them. Again, it's asking me do I want all the folders and do I want to just add them without moving them? Well, yes, I do. Click import, and it now brings all those in. So now, if we now look in the folders panel here, we can see that under this I've now got a folder with landscape images in and a folder with my portrait images in. And I've also got all the collections from both my landscape and my portrait folders. So how simple is that? Well, that's it. How to combine multiple catalogues to form a master catalogue. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss future episodes. I'll see you in the next video.
Bye for now.